。咁我哋係咪要重新嚟啊？繼續。喂，有聲啦！哎呀，我哋依家放入，我依家定有聲，開始啊！
dried garlic slices, some customers would like to make it into powder. Here, let's see, take a closer look. We grind the garlic slices with the grinding machine to get this powder very small in size. Okay, so uh, how can we get the dried fruit in such good results? Yeah, first of all, uh, you need to get a very good drying machine, of course, like our IKE Close Loop Heat Pump Dehydrator. With our uh, IKE machine, the, unlike other traditional uh, high temperature drying methods, our machine is drying the fruits and vegetables in a lower and medium temperature so that its ingredient is power and nutrition are largely retained. Secondly, there are uh, some, for some kind of fruits and vegetables, there are important techniques that we must pay attention to. Yes, uh, for the small and the thin items uh, like the bread and beans, we can put it directly in the drying house for dehydration. Uh, but for the bigger one, uh, we need to cut it into slices. Like for example, the carrot, and we can we usually will cut it into three to five millimeter before drying. Yes. And for some certain kind of fruits or vegetables, their color will be changed during the process of drying. So what is the solution? Here I will show you some sample. This is the dried brownie that is dried directly into the machine without any pre-treatment. The color looks a little bit uh, yellowish. And the other one, I will show you at the same time, this one is the brownie that is put into the machine after it is uh, put into uh, boiling water for about two minutes. The color looks really nice. Uh, how can we get this? The main reason is with the function of boiling water, it can largely kill the biological enzymes. Without biological enzyme, the color of green, the green color will be fixed and will never change to yellow. Yes, and for some of the fruits, for example, the apples. So when the apple slices is directly contacted to oxygen, its surface color will become brown very quickly. This is commonly called oxidation. So uh, what we can do? We can so we can put the apple slices into the salt water. So soaking for a few minutes is okay. Then we put the put it to the tree for drying. Yeah. And thirdly, uh, for fruits and vegetables drying, uh, normally we are suggesting to uh, dry them with the temperature 60 to 65 degrees. <coughs> this is the most suitable uh, uh, temperature to get the best quality and highest efficiency. Okay, so um, here we have some tricks of the material. Now we will put it into the drying machine over there. Let's go. insert the material into the machine. That's okay, yes. Uh, I can see a uh, yeah. There is a white mesh between the, the material and the trees. What is it? Uh, yes, this is the silicone mesh. Uh, for fruits and vegetables drying, normally we are recommending our customers to use this silicone mesh. The purpose is to prevent the fruits and vegetables to sticking too much directly to the tray. After you dry the fruits and vegetables, you just take, you can just take out the materials very easily. 
and then you take out the mesh to wash, but that always need to wash in the whole trays. This is so convenient. Yes. And um, yeah, I see that someone is leaving us a message that uh, why we can put so many different fruits together in the machine and try it. And they are worried that if their flavor, uh, the fragrance will be mixed. Uh, don't worry about this problem. Because as we mentioned before, our machine is used at lower and the medium temperature to dehydrate the fruit and vegetables. So, uh, for most for the different kind of the material inside our drying, in outside our dehydrate, dehydrates, uh, it will it will not the fragrance will not comes out during the drying process. So we don't need to worry about the fragrance will mix together in our drug dehydrates. Yeah, that's really great. So we close the door of the machine. So now, Mango, could yeah. you have to show us how to operate the machine? Yeah, of course. We look at here, this is the touch screen. Firstly, we input the passwords. Then we choose the operational mode. Normally, we are choosing the constant temperature and humidity mode. Uh, yes, here, as we mentioned, for fruits and vegetables, we are suggesting 60 to 65 degrees. Here, we can set the temperature 65 degrees and the humidity 10%. Okay, then save, yeah. And then we come back to the home page. and turn on the machine. Now you hear the machine is running. Oh, that's so amazing. I can see it is very simple to operate the machine. Uh, I think it is. Um, so you, you, you must be very curious how I, I, our IP machine is working to dehydrate fruit and vegetables. Let's uh, take a look at here. This is a diagram of our IP closed loop ping-pong system. The working principle is we have our compressor inside the main machine. When the machine is working, the AI in the drying house will firstly go through, uh, go through, it, go through the main machine and the compressor firstly will form a 5 degrees cold panel and a 90 degrees hot panel. Then when, when the air comes inside the main machine, it will firstly go through the hot panel and then it comes out to become a 60 degrees hot air. It is hot and dry air. Then the machine will go through the trees to check out the moisture of the material and it will become a 50 degrees Humid, air, humid hot air. This humid hot air will then go through our five degrees cold panel. It will, it will condense to water, and the water will release out of the machine by the water outlet. So after release the water, the air will go through the panel again and go outside. It will form a cycle. This is our close to Cape Palm system. So, Mango, yes. do you know the advantages of this drying system? Yes, uh, with our IKE closed loop heat pump dehydrator, 100% uh, of the energy is recycled. There is no energy lost. Uh, comparing to other traditional drying methods, our uh, dehydration system saves up to 70% energy. Well, this is so energy different capacity. So now my colleague Orange will show you our WRH 100 series. Hi Orange. Hello Hero. Hello Mango. Thank you so much for your introduction. Just now to share the dehydrators and for the drying effects to our customers. Hello. And now I'm, real, I'm very happy to share with you about our 100 series dehydrators. We, 
our 100 series dehydrator with the capacity is at 20 to 100 kilos per pass, and with the dehydration capacity is 3.5 kilos per hour. During limited stand capacity, we also uh, develop three types for our customers' options. For example, we have the something that this one is the middle uh, temperature from for our customers from the working temperature at 50 to 65 degrees. And also we have some customers that want the middle and the high temperature, so we have something like this type of the drip chart for our customers, which is suitable for the more uh, dry materials. And this one is today, the mainly I want to share with you is our WRH100T with the capacity and both is 100 kilos per patch. And the point, most point mark is the temperature. So you can see here, it's just a, from the whole range there from 20 to 80 degrees. So how we do? This is very suitable for some customers that with the very small quantity, or they maybe have to start beginning, and they want to have a function a food dehydrator to get some uh, several different kinds of the testing. So this is was the best one for them. As you can see here, just now my colleagues, the main call, also share with you is the controller. So you can set the temperature, humidity, and even the working model as what you want. From here, it's very easy. And here is the organization windows. For some customers, before they buy the big capacity dehydrators and they use this type of taxi, they, they want to know how the a dry material is coming, so this is very good for them to see. Hi, hey, it's good or not, so like this. And as here you can see the outlet, because now it's not uh, working, but the pure water, the, all the motors of the uh, production is here. And here the puncture is the 100% the waters, because the energy of the dry material is not comes down. This is because we're using a closed pool dehydration system. This is the best one, the hot one, the top one in the market. So choose IP is your best choice. Okay, and here, as you can see here, there are four uh, wheels with brakes. So why you decide for this? Because it's very easy for customers to use it to move anywhere. And this is also very convenient for them to uh, join the uh, materials anywhere they want, even at home, it's good. Okay, so let me show you something inside. As you can see, here has some special chains. This is our standard chain, a stainless steel with the materials, the 304. Yes, this one. This one is the, at the most, the bill loading is the 10 kilos per piece. So it's very strong. And if you have some customer, they don't have the subjects. So maybe another one is better for your choice, like this one. But this one, you know, uh, the bill loading is only at most uh, three kilos. So we need to uh, choose depends on different of the materials. And you will feel amazing for this one. What is this one? Is the no hole, no hole trade. It's very suitable for the gems or the proof details. This is, is our new design and uh, it's quite popular right now. So if you want to make it something like that, we have spread different size for your choice. And here it is the plastic chains. It is made of the PP grain standards. And it can work under uh, at more, under 125 degrees. And as you know, our whole uh, drying working temperature is never is not over the 85, so it's very safety. Yes. As you can see, we have the different uh, chains with the different uh, uh, machines for you. So at this is the 13 chains, and at most is 20 chains, which depends on different uh, drivers. So you can contact us, and our sales will give you the details information. So do remember to uh, subscribe to the YouTube YouTube channel IKE and leave your message to us. As long as you can make make an order with us during our March show, so then you can give a free gift. It's very surprise gift. So we are waiting for your coming for your inquiries.
As you know, this is the small capacity dehydrator. Some for for example, some customer will say, mm, this one is too small, they don't want this one. So how is it? So don't worry about it because I they already solved this problem. We have the middle and the B and the branch B uh, capacities. So now my colleague uh, Mango will go ahead to share with you about some uh, capacity dehydrators, the middle top around 200 to 250 to 300 kilograms per batch. Uh, actually, uh, this is uh, this series machine is uh, all in one type cabinet machine. Uh, sometimes customers they, they think that the WRH100 machine is uh, too small for their production and they are not in need to go directly to the biggest uh, capacity machine uh, at the moment. That's why uh, we will need a machine with medium capacity like this one. Uh, for WRH300 service machine, we actually have uh, uh, two models. Uh, the one WRH uh, uh, 300 GP, that is our standard model with 40 pieces chase. And the one like this one, uh, WRH 300 GL, it is a customized machine with 60 trays totally. But since the 300 GP machine is so popular, we have run out of stock. That's why I'm now going to give you an introduction uh, as a combination of these two models. Firstly, uh, from the name of this series machine, you can, you can see that uh, it is a cabinet type machine. The machine is in compact size, like this one. Uh, you, you can use it anywhere it is convenient for you. Though it is not like a 100 series machine to have four wheels, still this one you can use it anywhere uh, for you, uh, only with the help of a uh, forklift. And it is uh, all in one machine. Uh, when the customers receive the machine, there is no need to install it. You just connect the machine to power and use. Uh, the standard power supply of this machine is 220 uh, voltage, single phase 50 hertz. Uh, let's take a closer look at the machine. The outside and the inside of the machine is uh, made of stainless steel. It looks very nice and clean and, uh, and the stainless steel material is more durable to ensure longer service life. Uh, here it, at the bottom side of the machine, it is the heat exchange system, the heat pump system. And at the bottom side, the upper side of the machine, it is the drawing cabinet. And over here, it is the control panel. It is a touch screen type. Uh, the software is written by IKE engineers ourselves for the convenience of our customers to use it very simple and for future maintenance. And over here, since this is the heat pump system, after the machine takes out of the takes out the moisture from the, the materials, the moisture will be condensed as water and drained out from here. This is the water outlet. Okay. The, the hot air will be coming out from the heat pump system here from the left side and then going through the materials to be dried, taking out their moisture and come back to the heat pump system from here, the left, the right uh, air ducts. And you can imagine that the air is flowing in a parallel way, right? Yes, this is what we call the parallel airflow. With this kind of airflow, you will get a much larger air volume, and this will be good for you to get uh, the dry products more evenly. And here uh, we, we can have a look, this is uh, plastic, these are plastic chains. For using plastic chains, 
it is very easy. Uh, you just need to put the fruits and vegetables on top of the trays, and then just like this, stack them one by one on top of each other, and then you can close the door and run the machine. So you may have a question. Uh, what about stainless steel trays? How can we use it in this machine? If you are observant enough, you will discover that in this machine, we do not have any tray racks for stainless steel trays. So how can we solve that problem? Don't worry. Here, I will introduce a secret device we developed for this kind of machine, like this one. This is our device. Uh, for for the stainless steel trays of this machine. Uh, this is a de detachable device. The upper part of this one, uh, it, upper part is the tray holder for the trays. And the lower part is the movable trolley with the wheels. Uh, the customers can put all the fruits and, and vegetables on top of the stainless steel trays and then, like this, insert into this tray holder. And then, after they fully load, then we move, we move the, the device in the correct position of the machine. And then we can, you can see here, the, the wheels have locked. We can lock the wheels and then push the whole upper part into the machine. But since this, this, now this tray rack is for WRH300GB, I just use it for uh, demonstration purpose only here. Uh, if you are interested in the device for this uh, 300GL machine, just uh, let us know and we will provide you more information about it. Evenly. It is made of uh, stainless steel 304. And also, the, you can see that the framework and the bottom of the tray actually is uh, reinforced by very uh, bigger steel bars to ensure the heavier uh, loading capacity. The maximum uh, loading capacity of the stainless tray is. Uh, uh, 10 kilogram. Okay, so let's move it back first. Then we come back here, and I will finally I would like to uh, share some important uh, parameters of the machine. Uh, as you can see, the temperature that this this type of machine is working temperature is. 50 to 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, with this kind of temperature range, you can dry not only fruit or vegetables, but also meat, seafood, spices, and etc. And uh, the input power that this machine will have is uh, 3.5 kilowatt. This is very low electricity consumption. As we mentioned just now, it saves a maximum 70% energy than any other traditional trying method. And um, finally, for the chain quantity, uh, this is customized machine that is with 60 pieces chase. Uh, our standard machine, we mentioned just now, that's 300 GB is with 40 pieces. Because sometimes some customers, they, they have some products that are bigger in size and they will need more drying area. That's why we can make a customized machine for them. So if you are interested in our 300 WRH 300 G uh, series machine, please contact us and visit our website www.ike.cn and leave your inquiry. Um, if 
you can confirm order during this month of this, this type of machine, we will have a surprise for you. This is free gift that we will provide for any order of WRH300 series machine. This is a portable back sealing machine. It is good for uh, sealing the back of small drying covers. Then, uh, if you still think that this machine, the production uh, capacity is still uh, too large for you, so quantity need of the um, large quantity need up to one ton. Um, don't we as an industrial manufacturer? So we can we can have have the meet your this requirements by our AIO service machine. For the AIO service machine, many uh, designs according to our customer requirements. The capacity of our AIO service machine is from 500 kilograms to 1 to 1.5 tons. 2 tons and the so here I will show you. Please come with me to say for the AI series machine, we usually uh, will customize the coding customer need. So it in the, the inside structure can be adjustable. Now um if for the the capacity you need is um is up to um more than two tons. We also have the conveyor belt joint system that is yes. So um, for the large capacity, you can use this one. But today, I will introduce you our AIO 1500 GS dehydrate. So this will, this will be the machine. I will introduce it to you. This is AIO 1500 GS machine. Why we call it AIO? Because it is all in one cabinet. When we ship this to our customer, we will ship it just like this. So when our customer receive the machine, they don't need to assemble it. This will save a lot of the labor cost and the time for our customer. The capacity of this machine is from 1 to 1.5 pounds per batch and therefore and the working temperature for this machine is from 50 to 80 degrees. It is widely used for dry fruit, vegetables, meat, fish and many other materials. AIO 1500 machine is built by our drying house with a non machine inside it. This is our drying house. From the outside, we can see the material of the drying house is made by stainless steel. Also, the non machine inside it is stainless steel. So, uh, we use this high end material for our customer then it is very durable for use. Let's open the door. Okay, this is the inside of the machine. In the beginning of the in the beginning of the door, you can see a slow design. This door
these two options. The plastic tray option, it is made by the food grid. So it can directly contact with food. Most the customer will choose the uh, stainless steel trolley because that is more durable, they think, and uh, the material of the stainless we use is 304. That is good grade stainless steel. And now, after uh, the capacity of these two options is similar, but the price is different. So our customer can choose the tree option and the trolley option according to their different requirements. So uh, now let's go inside. Here, this one is the main machine, IKE S series machine. It is um, the main machine. You can see there is many of the air outlets in the main machine. It is on the both sides. So this can have the strong and powerful wind to come out of the main machine, go through the drying materials for dehydration. And uh, here, in the middle of the drying house, you can see there is a boat. Do you know the function of this? This boat is it just for separate the trolleys? No. This boat is our special design by our IKE R&D team. Because you can you can see there is a boulder, so um, we are made it by for uh, for our special wind directions, the wind structure. As you can see, wind is a very important factor for food drying. The wind structure is also very important. Currently, in the market, most of the big drying houses only have one wind direction. That is the wind that comes out from the air outlet and return to the air inlet. So, this, this, this design will cause a problem. Most customers found the rugs the trees which is placed close to the air outlet, it will be dehydrated more quickly. And then the, the trees, the trolleys which is placed uh, a little far from the air outlet. For example, the outer side. So it will be dehydrated more slowly. This is not evenly dry. So customer have to, it's to have to change the trolleys. To change the trolleys, so uh, to make the dehydration more evenly. This will uh, take a lot of the labor cost and the time. So with our IPS series machine, you don't need to worry about this problem because we have two directions. We have the directions can be changeable. So you can choose the left side to be the air outlet. Then the air comes from the left side, goes through the drying material and returns to the right side. The right side is air inlet. And after a certain time of work, our machine will automatically change the wind directions to be the right side as wind outlet. Then the left side will be the air inlet. In this way, we don't need to change the trolleys. This can help our customer to save the labor cost and your precious time. So now we will operate the machine, open it to working, and uh, we will. The left side will be the air outlet, so uh, it has strong, powerful wind. Then okay. it comes out and uh, to dry the fruit and vegetables um, of each layer of tree. This wind is.
uh, changed by our machine automatically. It can be uh, can be put inside our program. You can set change in the program. So you don't need to speak to the Thank you so much for watching.